Now this here is a fairy deck. This is my kind of fairy deck. It's the, it's the kind of fairy deck that takes, like, the good stuff that you know from fairies and spices it up with a terrible GX Chaos Monster retrain. Very, very me, very much my style. So this deck is based around this card called Sky Scourge Enrise. Um, it's sort of an amalgamation, actually. I, I kind of wanted to... I've been wanting a while to make, like, this Dim Elk Chaos pile... I've just been looking for ways to do it. Like, the, the Phantom of Chaos deck I posted a while ago was a take on it. And I think this is, like, the final form that I've been shooting for, actually. I uh, I grinded, like, all day yesterday trying to optimize this list. Um, at the end, I was able to hit, like, a 16-game win streak against DB Randos uh, with this deck. So it's been performing absolutely insanely well. Uh, so what is Sky Scored in Rise? Think Chaos Sorcerer, and then... Aim lower. I feel like I've said that before, actually, but... Yeah. Uh, it's the same thing as Sork, but you, it's just absurdly harder to summon. You have to banish three Light Fairies and one Dark Fiend. So, we're playing the Fairy deck, and we've thrown in some Dark Fiends. We've got Kaisas, got Sangan, got Gors Tragodia, and a couple Battle Faders, which you could potentially mill off of Trooper, but are otherwise probably not going to your graveyard. Um, so, yeah. This is, this is the deck. Uh... The reason we're playing triple Enrise and not Sork is because Enrise is both a level 8 and a Light Fairy. So you can pitch it for Herald of Orange and Traden, and this is true for Christie as well. So essentially, you don't really dead draw these. Like, you can just pitch them for your, to convert with your other stuff until they're live. And then you just drop your big boss monsters, and you endlessly like recycle them with Dimalk and whatnot. And there's a lot of sort of cross synergy and stuff going on in here. So it's a very, very cool, very interesting... It almost plays like a like a Tengu plant chaos control list. I don't know if you're familiar with those kinds of lists, but they're like they're sort of like these Dim Alk piles with battle faders and a lot of hand traps. They play very conservatively in terms of just like holding back a lot of cards in hand, not committing a lot to the field. I really wanted to make a deck like that, and I feel like I'm very happy with where I ended up here. Um, so yeah, this is the list. Um... There's a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, this side, we've got Gemini Imps. One of the worst matchups is probably Sabres, or like, yeah, probably just Sabres. And this is a Dark Fiend, so I decided to throw this card in just as for some extra hate. Consecrated Light, it's a Light Fairy. You can search it off Angel. Um, I also, I've really been liking one Cydra, or one Cyber Valley in the Fairy list, so I'm throwing one in with the Angel package. Also one Warrior Lady, couldn't really fit more. But, yeah, a lot of... A lot of really interesting, cool stuff going on in here. RFDD is insane. R this is probably one of the craziest RFDD decks. Uh, Decree, I think you need to play Decree in here. Um, it's just, uh, there's so many, like, annoying monster removal traps in the format right now, like Deep Prison and Bottomless and, and all of that. And I think Decree really helps you sort of keep your tempo up. So um, I think I've talked enough about it, though. So let's, let's jump in and uh, find a game and show off the deck for you guys. All right, here we've got a match. We're going to go ahead and pick Scissors. All right, Scissors have been killing it lately. Everyone's picking paper because they think I pick rock because they watch my channel. <laughs> All right, let's see how we can open here. Mm, probably going to want to use this trade-in right away. Hopefully draw another fairy. Okay. So maybe set Sangan, set Decree. Seems fun. That way we have the live orange light if we really need it. Hmm, what are we going to want to get off this Sangan? Something that can trade with Neo's alias. Um, so maybe like... Card Trooper? I could see that. It'll let us keep this Dim Alk in hand if we need to. Or one more turn as well. So that's not bad. All right, draw, and we are going to try to stop that with Decree. All right, we force the Spark, which, yeah, that was about the worst case scenario for us, but I think it's still fine. Takes Dim Alk. I'm not sure. I think he should have taken Trooper there. All right. 
right. Go battle phase attack. Hmm, <laughs> do we want to pro-set the heavy? I feel like he would know that I'm pro-setting heavy. So I'm just going to chill. Yeah, does shoot resolving that really sucks, but we're still in an okay spot, so it is what it is. It is what it is. Opponent's gonna go for the Stratos, that's fine. This is probably like the worst matchup for this deck, I think, because Orange Light doesn't do anything. Pretty much. They can always like out Dim Elk super easy by making it miss timing. Anyway, we take 14, draw a card, Dim Elk. It's pretty good. Hopefully, we banish something. God, I. My luck is so shit. I mean, like, 75% of my deck is monsters, and I always, always, always do hit this spell when I blind Dim Elk. That's so bad. Oh. That's so bad, man. It should really not happen as often as it does. I, I gotta say. Like I said, it's like a 1 in 4 chance you hit a spell. It's pretty low. I mean, I think I had to go for it there. Oh, opponent's playing frogs, actually. Hero beat frogs? It's pretty weird. Pretty weird, not gonna lie. Maybe I should set the RFDD. Or maybe I should have. Now I don't think I will. I might just get monarched. But it's like if I top decked, uh... Um... Actually, I think both my boss monsters are live off the top. Which is a little awkward because of the trade-in, but... Um, you know what? I'm just going to fade her here. I don't want to take this. <laughs> I really don't. Damn, that ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. Ugh. That was a really bad draw. We're just gonna have to set two. Hope they don't have heavy. <laughs> Hope we can draw something reasonable. Like, okay, they had storm. That's unfortunate. That was exactly what we needed them not to have. As long as we're only taking 19 here, I guess it's fine. Draw. Okay. I might just black rose this. No, I don't want to, actually. Shit. Alright, we hit over that. <laughs> Not sure why they didn't just bounce back their swap frog, honestly. Kaius buys us a turn, at least. But damn. Damn do we need to draw, like, Christie or Enrise. So we're probably going to get Monarch tier. Ryza, and I think we lose. Um, if it's Ryza, we just lose. Yeah, okay. Rough, but that we, we got screwed really hard there on the, just bad luck. Um... I think, yeah, not a lot else to say about that one. Um, just very bad luck, that game. <laughs> the fact that we never found a Christia or an Enrise was really, really bad, and them having Gem Spark plus Dust Shoot was the worst combination of cards. Um, and them having Heavy Storm and Ryza. Every time they could have had the worst possible thing for us, they had it, so. Um, 
there was not much we could do in that game one. It just uh, it was what it was. <laughs> anyway, we're going to shake it off and go to game number two. It's fine. Uh, this is a hand. I'm going to use the trade-in. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. I think I just set this say again. Seems reasonable to me. Sangam pass. We know we're up against just like a, a low back row, like frog hero beat type of thing. What the hell? They're playing knock? In the side? In frogs? That's so weird. That's whack as shit. <laughs> that is uh, very strange. Because you can just always out shit with monarchs. What the hell do you need knock for? All right, I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to question it. It's fine. For now, we're just not going to set monsters. It's, uh, unless we absolutely have to. Okay. Hmm. How do I feel about attacking this? I'm just going to do it. Okay. Figured it might be that. Um... I want to draw cards. I want to set a card. Let's see, we've got orange lights. It's a weird end. Unifrog. I wonder what's in their hand. Do we want a mind crush here? Just to like see what's in their hand? <sighs> there could be a Caius, there could be a Ryza. I don't even goddamn know. There's probably triple miracle fusion in here. Let's just call that. I don't know what the hell they could be bricked on. I'll eat the neg if it's. Jesus Christ, what is this hand? Alright. Caius. Should have called Caius, I guess. Uh, Sidra BFDD Grand Mole. They get to rip a card. Hopefully they don't hit Shining Angel. Exactly. Alright, that's fine. We're fine with that. So we draw for turn. We have a dead card. Um, we have to pass. We do have to pass here. It's a weird situation. Kind of just like both games just waiting for a boss monster. Um. I think that's probably nothing. Whoa, whoa. We'll just... Normal summon angel. Pass. <laughs> it's like the only play we have, so... Gotta do what you gotta do. Maybe they'll try to Caius me. No, they're just going to hit over with Ocean. It's in my Banish pile. Take 400. Take 100, get a, okay, we boarded out of our removal, so I think we lose. Eh, we could just Black Rose.
We can black rose. Next time I'll leave in my spell trap removal, if there's a next time. Why would dude miss timing here? Doesn't make any sense. Well, if we draw Christia, we're at a pretty good spot. If we draw Enrise, we can just pitch it for trade in. If we draw Dark, we can allure. So, all in all, not a bad spot to be in here. Hopefully I don't draw another Light Imp after we took out all our Spell Trap removal. Uh, I might negate that. <laughs> I don't want them having a... Tree Boarding Grave. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Actually, I definitely shouldn't have done that. That was really stupid. That was unbelievably dumb. I don't know what I was thinking. Now if I draw Christie, it's dead. Whatever. Banish that. Trade in this. Dim Alk. <laughs> no prio. All right, we'll go ahead and use the effect. Attack. Hopefully this doesn't get rid of my dust shoot. If it does, we're in a bad spot. If we're able to get off dust shoot, we're fine. Probably. Probably fine. Maybe fine. Who knows? Um I would say the problem here is actually just Kai's. BFDD Mobius Treeborn Sidra Mole. There's a lot of banished cards I would like to add to my hand. We really need to get a Dark Fiend here. Are they, like, not on Miracle Fusion, by the way? I haven't seen it. They must be on it. It's got to be in there. Like, what's the point if you're not on it? Hmm. Okay, they are going to summon Sidra. Sidra Mole. That's totally fine. We can out this pretty easily. Take 21. Sidra. Go for Fortress Dragon. No Pryo. Effect. Attack. D Prison. What? Why didn't they do that the first time? Well, that's a problem, actually. That's so random. You're playing a battle trap in frogs? That's got to be terrible, right? Hmm. We still don't have a Dark Fiend engrave. <laughs> Which is kind of insane. Feels like we're losing to a really weird deck here. <laughs> um, that card's dead. Yeah. It's my own fault this card is dead, too. It's the funny part. <laughs> and that one's also dead. That one's just as dead as the last one. I'm glad I'm drawing these so much later than I actually needed them. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> the opponent is playing very cautiously. Um, and so am I. So am I. He's got a tribute for Mobius. That's whatever. 
I'm just going to take 24, I think. Draw. Find a Dim Elk. Can this Dim Elk actually get me anything? Can't get me a lethal. Uh, there's nothing in my banished pile that's, like, even vaguely useful. <laughs> so annoying. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I will hit something. Maybe I'll hit Enrise here. Oh, that's convenient. Um... Hmm. Actually, that's not very convenient. It's not very convenient at all. He put it as Grandma anyway. Huh. I should ram this now and get like. Caius or <laughs> something. It's weird. Is there an Enrise left in deck? There's one. <laughs> Alright, we'll get the Caius. Um. Yeah. Although we will die to Caius burn now. Yeah, maybe that was wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have done that way. I don't know. We don't have a lot of options here, so... <laughs> yeah, we'll drop this. Uh, we'll pitch a Christia to try and draw something. There's Enrise. How many fairies? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. In other words, there's no point. Um, I think we just lose from this point. I mean, eh, maybe not. Um, banish that one. Crash. Banish you. Banish you. Banish you. Banish you. Sky Scourge and Rise. Pass. The thing is, he could still just bounce this with Grandma, so. Yeah, I don't know. This was poorly thought out. I should have maybe ban just banished the other guy attacked. But then I wouldn't have been able to drop Enrise at all. And we're going to banish the only hero in his grave. <laughs> we're out of trade-ins and orange lights, so we're just bricked on these for eternity, apparently. He has more back row. Nah, fuck it. We just got to attack. <laughs> what the hell, man? How are you playing Deep Prison in Frogs? Oh, my God. It's so not good. It's so bad. Please stop. Is. Could be dupe or something, but I just have to try to hit over it. Um, we could drop Enrise again. That was actually an insane mill. That was an insane mill. 
because we have one, two, three, four, five, six fairies. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we're, we're banishing three of them. Summon Sky Scourge Enrise. Attack with Enrise. Hit for 19. Drop Christia. Christia will add back. I don't even know. <laughs> I. It's either Orange Light or Honest. Um. Let's go for the Honest. So opponent's gonna curl my honest, which is whatever. I think we're only really dead to brain control here. Nothing else. <laughs> so that's about that's about the situation. That, that card trooper mill bailed me out. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> that card trooper mill completely saved me. Um, uh, we gotta bring in some. We gotta we gotta bring in some spell trap hate here. Uh. These are still good. These are still good. But we cannot. Yeah. Hmm. What should it come out then? I don't even know. Maybe, like... Maybe this stuff's not that great. I don't know. Um... It's, like, bad. These, these are terrible. And then, hmm, maybe like this card, even though it saved me that game. Here, let's just do Triple Crow. Let's do Triple Crow. Triple Crow should do it for me. We got tons of Spell Trap hate this time, so we don't have to worry about, like, getting sacked by Lim or whatever. Although we do now, because look at this hand. <sighs> Ugh. What is this? This is not good. And the opponent will get set up right away, and then we will feel bad. <laughs> so we could try going with, like, Angel first. What a... Are you not sending a tree bar? Okay, there he goes. <laughs> hmm. If he sets a trap card, I might not do anything, so I don't know. <laughs> All right, he's going to dupe lock. Well, into dupe lock, I think the plan is just do nothing. Just wait. Actually, wait, he didn't dupe lock. What? He's tributing the sub? This is so random. <laughs> wait, what? Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, That's the worst draw on my deck. So, a little unfortunate there. Yeah. We're just going to have to eat 1k damage. He's got a tree born, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to draw a little bit better than that if we want to do anything. <laughs> Alright, he's bouncing back, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Do your plays. This is the kind of hand where I think I could really use a trade in, or a Fader, or Caius, or a, well, mostly just an Orange Light would be great. But you know, we're not that good, so it's fine. Oh, thank God! <laughs> thank God, we really needed that. Another one. Um, Christy is much more our win con here, so I think I'm just going to pitch the second end rise. Draw one, draw two. Oh, that's so good. Okay. 
definitely happy to see that decree. Definitely happy to see that decree. <laughs> hmm. Gonna have to orange light the grand mole probably. Ah, uh, but then again. I should have put this angel on attack because now it's going to be weird. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't have been able to drop Christy. I, I, why was I not thinking about that? That was so dumb. <laughs> that was very not smart. Oh well. Draw. I guess we just summon it and pass. <laughs> Hopefully we can have things go as planned this time and drop our Christia. Um, well, I don't, I don't even need to negate that, so whatever. <laughs> Maybe he's got Miracle? All right, we'll take 400. We've got the decree. All right, we're going to get our search. Four. Doesn't really matter. DD Warrior Lady. <laughs> this way we could summon Orange Light, Sync, and then drop Christia. Just exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> then we get that Christia. Add back. Um, probably just get the Herald in this situation. Then we'll go. I think Bryo bounce the Dupe Frog. And we'll go Christia over that. Brio. Brio over that. And I think Brio Christia decree with two heralds and honest in hand ought to just win me the game against frogs. Surely. Who? This game was a little scary, but we managed to uh, pull it back at the end there. Definitely. Last game was crazy. The, like... Summoning Enrise multiple times at the end to, like, unscrew my graveyard for Christia drop with the card for Brumil setting it all up. That was crazy. So, yeah. We are going to, of course, uh, orange light this. And we can just go for game next turn. So, yeah. Brionic effect that summon you attack for game all right well we managed to pull it back i think this list is a bit better against frogs than the typical fairy list there's a little bit more of a turbo element to it with like the trade ins and stuff that really help you out and like the end rise like with the chaos and the big plays with rfdd uh well regular fairies has big plays with rfdd i just think it's it's kind of faster to set up into frogs, and, like, getting monarched every turn isn't such a threat. So, yeah, I definitely enjoyed this list, and I hope you guys did as well. Anyway, be sure to give the video a like, leave a comment, subscribe. You know, you know all the stuff you're supposed to do. Uh, so, yeah, see you in the next one.